Hey folks, I thought I'd show you a quick shot of the uh, Xena 5S29. You can see things are coming back together. I think when I left off showing the chassis, I had the uh, tuning condenser that I completely removed, de-rusted, replaced the uh, washers, uh, made a new uh, drive belt here using Versamol product. I've been working on the uh, power transformer. Still a little bit of work here to be done. Um, still got to put a misty coat of uh, paint here on this area. I uh, got to get the correct hardware here. Uh, the second IF filter, I hope you guys uh, found that informative, that uh, variable capacitor underneath with the mica and the, the pieces of uh, metal there had corroded and uh, that second IF would not resonate at the uh, IF frequency. Um, I'm going to still pull the first IF out because I still need to dress up this lead dressing here uh, for the 6K7 uh, IF, this grid lead. Um, so that will afford me the opportunity to do that as well. I've got some fraying of the wires here I'll probably replace. Um, I've got a clean up here around the dial lamps. Again, get the dial back inserted. Uh, get the uh, transformer again permanently mounted. Uh, for now, I've got uh, two electrolytics uh, just tacked in underneath. So uh, we'll have to square that up as well. Stay tuned. I'm going to do something different here on the electrolytics. You might find uh, helpful. Uh, let's see. Anyway, I think that's about it. Uh, radio seems to be playing well. I did a RF alignment. Uh, just uh, listen to the audio. Uh, speaker's got just a little bit of uh, rattle. Uh, we'll see how that sounds once it's put back in the cabinet itself. But I think the uh, definitely has some potential uh, here. And uh, look forward to uh, moving forward with the remainder of the restoration. So folks, uh, thanks again for uh, checking this out. Again, this is the uh, Zenith 5S29 from the mid-1930s. I think around 1936.